Hello everybody and welcome back to your yoga practice today. My name is Chloe and I'm very excited to be with you once again to share the beautiful practice of yoga with you. And today we're going to be carrying on from the yoga series that we started from last month and gently working up our system. So today we're going to be looking at a beautiful yoga set that you can do to really work with and activate your second chakra. So as you'll come to realize we have seven or eight main chakra centers in the body and the second one is our reproductive center. So it's your reproductive organs, your ovaries or your testes, your uterus um, and all the energy that's created in this area of your body. So your second chakra, the color is orange and it represents everything emotional. It is your sense of passion, your creativity, your sense of abundance. Um, it's your absolute creative center. If you can think it's where you know we create children or create life this is where everything is birthed and it's quite a powerful center because you know if we have a block in our second chakra we for example will have no creativity will have no passion will have no sexual drive um, and it's very clear in our lives when we can see these sorts of things happening so it's such a powerful tool to be able to identify these blockages in your life. Let's say you are an artist or you're just a normal person and you're suddenly aware that you have no passion, you have no sense of creativity or you have no um, sexual drive. All that energy is linked. And so when you can kind of come into awareness of that and click and say, okay, I realize I'm having a bit of a block here. You can come into your yoga practice and just get that energy flowing because all it is is a lack of energy flow or some sort of energy is blocked. So there's beautiful things we can do within yoga to just get that energy opening up, get things flowing once again. Um, and it's a great thing to also use, let's say, if you are working on a creative project or um, whatever it may be, to do a little bit of yoga to stimulate that energy, enhance that energy, really harnessing that creative energy um, that you can then channel into your work or into your relationships or whatever it is you choose. Um, so yeah, that's all I'm going to share with you for now. Um, so the practice today, I would love for you to just find a comfortable space. I'm in my garden today. It's such a beautiful day. Um, and if you don't have a yoga mat, you can use a towel or blanket or anything like that. And yeah, just enjoy, take this time to just maybe reflect on where you are emotionally. This is also our, our emotional center where we store all our emotional energy. So also if there's something you need to release emotionally, it's an incredible, powerful tool to use. All right, so we're going to start and just come seated on our mats. And you can sit cross-legged if that works for you, just to come seated. Nice. And we're just going to rest our hands gently on our knees, sitting up nice and straight. You really want to elongate the spine, be sitting comfortably on your tailbone and gently pulling the stomach in towards your spine. You can just roll your shoulders back slightly, taking a deep breath in and out and just close your eyes. Close your eyes and begin to bring an awareness to yourself. Tuning into your body and just taking a moment to reflect as to where you might be creatively, sexually, emotionally and just seeing if you can identify any blockages in this area. Bringing your awareness to your breath and taking nice steady breaths in and out. Just deep breaths in and out. Lovely. 
could then just bring our hands into prayer at our hearts just to come into the space for our yoga practice taking a moment to acknowledge and unify the gift of our body mind and spirit taking a deep breath in and just setting a beautiful intention for your practice today and breathing out lovely and we're going to just tune into our practice with the mantra Ong Namo Gurudev Namo meaning I awaken the teacher that resides within me taking a deep breath in Ong Namo Guru start seated and I invite you to just grab hold of your knees. The first exercise I'm going to introduce you to is just a gentle hip rotation. So we're just going to start to gently move the body in a circular motion, bringing the body forward as you breathe in and breathing out as you go back. And just feel into the body. We're just beginning to warm up the hips. Loosen into the hips, warming up the spine, and just gently moving forwards and backwards. Breathing in and out. And just observe how this posture feels. We're massaging into this groin area, we're massaging into the hips. So it's incredible to just get that energy moving in the second chakra. Breathing in and out. And you can begin to make these circles a little bit bigger, just deepening that stretch. As you go back, you can stretch out the spine, just really feel into the body, wherever there might be stiffness, and just allow the body to move however you feel might be best for you. And we can make them even bigger, going all the way down and round, just moving as big and boldy as you can. Mm, just breathing in and out. You can do this for as long or as short as you feel when you're practicing by yourself. Generally, your body tells you when it's enough. Lovely. And then just coming all the way down to the left leg, you can stretch your right hand against the right knee and just deepen that release to the left side. Taking a nice deep breath in and out. Lovely. Breathing in back to center, taking a nice deep breath. And exhale. Beautiful. We're going to then do the same on the other side. So just starting with gentle little rotations in a nice circular motion. Just loosening up the energy in that second chakra. And if you want to visualize a beautiful orange color during this time, you can. Some people are very visual and color orientated, so you're welcome to do that. 
And then just allowing those circles to get bigger. If you want to stretch out the spine and move the shoulders, you can. Nice. Just breathing in and out. Now making them as big and bold as you can. Nice big circles all the way around. Nice. And then we're going to come all the way to the right side. Stretching down to the right leg and pressing the left arm against the left knee. And just deepening that stretch into the hips. Taking a deep breath in. And out. Lovely. And breathing in back to center. Taking a deep inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Nice. We're going to then just give the feet a little bit of space. So just kind of spread the feet a little bit. Making a little bit of room. We're going to take a nice beautiful breath. Stretching the arms high above the head and exhaling down to your heart. Beautiful. We're going to then breathe in again, lifting the arms up. And you can cross the thumbs behind you just to give your hands a little bit of extra leverage. Stretching up high. And we're going to exhale down to the floor. So you want to stretch your fingertips. I'm just going to move back. Stretch your fingertips as far down to the floor in front of you as you can. Really stretching and reaching and lowering your chin down to the chest. Lovely. And just hold here. We're going to take three deep breaths in and out. Lovely. Then coming up, taking a deep breath in. And we're going to move over to the left leg. So just stretch down to the left side, wherever that might be for you. Maybe you're only here, and that's absolutely no worries. But otherwise, stretch as far down as you can. And we're going to take three breaths here as well. Beautiful. Then another nice deep breath in. And we're going to move over to the right leg, stretching all the way to the right side, all the way down. And three deep breaths in and out. Another deep breath in and out. And last deep breath in and out. Lovely. Breathing in back to center. We're going to take a deep breath in, bringing the arms around. Deep inhale. And breathing out down to your heart. Lovely. So we're going to do the same now with the other leg. So just swapping the legs around, bringing the right leg in front this time, or the opposite leg to which you had. And again, we're going to take a deep, beautiful breath, breathing in. And out. Breathing in, crossing the thumbs behind you, lifting up nice and straight, deep breath. And exhaling forward, stretching as far forward as you can, reaching, reaching, dropping your chin to your chest, and taking three deep breaths. And moving over to the left side, stretching over to the left, deep breath. Beautiful. And breathing in, you 
can bring yourself back up to center, taking a nice, beautiful breath, and exhaling down to your heart. Good. Nice. So we're going to then bring your feet together in a butterfly position. So as you are maybe starting to realize, we're working a lot with the hips. Everything to do with this area of the body is our second chakra. So stiffness in your hips, stiffness in your lower back, your groin, tension in your lower back, all of that is your second chakra. So we're going to be working with this area to just get that energy moving. So you want to sit up nice and straight and just grab hold of your feet. They can be as far or as close from your body as you feel. And just allowing the knees to gently move up and down. And just be aware of how you're feeling in this hip joint area. Is it feeling nice and loose and open? Is it quite stiff? This is everything reflecting what's happening in your second chakra. So we just want to get that energy flushed out, moving, flowing. Nice. And if you want a little mantra in your mind, you can just say, um, I effortlessly let go or I open myself to infinite creativity, abundance, passion. Um, just see whatever comes to your mind. Just affirming your intentions behind the practice today. Nice. And you can actually do this quite fast. So it can be quite a vigorous um, movement up and down just to really, really get that energy flowing. Just a few more, really, really getting that energy moving. Lovely, nice. And then you can just rest the knees down and we'll take a nice deep breath in. You want to sit up as straight as you can, pressing the knees down, breathing in. And as we breathe out, we're going to lower ourselves down towards the feet. If you can, bring your elbows in front of the legs. And aim to lower yourself down towards your feet. If not, you can keep your elbows on the inside. So just see what works best for you. And we're going to lower the chin down to the chest. And hold for three deep breaths. breathe in to lift up again deep breath and breathe out down breathing in coming up deep breath and breathe out down breathing in coming up nice deep breath and exhale down and again deep breath in and out all the way down and last one deep breath in and we're going to breathe out as far down as you can and hold for three breaths lovely nice and you can come up and we're just going to then bring the legs out to either side. So just opening your legs up as wide or unwide as they are. Um, I've never really been able to do the splits or open my legs too wide. So this is kind of where I, where I am today. So open as widely as you feel comfortable. All right, so we're going to then sit up nice and straight. If you want to, you can also place a pillow or a towel or something under your spine just to lift your spine up a little bit if you find that you're struggling to sit up straight so you can always try that okay and we're going to just take a nice deep breath in and as we exhale we're going to breathe down to the right leg if you want to bend the knee here you can but just stretching down we're going to just take two breaths here and then breathe in back to center deep breath and breathing out down to the opposite side. And just two breaths here. Lovely, and back to center. We're gonna then lift our arms up to the side, taking a deep breath in. 
and we're going to alternate the arm to leg so breathing into center we're going to go down to the left taking the right arm over to the left breathing into center and then the left arm to the right leg so there's a little bit of speed to this so you breathe in and out breathing in and out breathing in and out breathing in through the nose exhaling through the mouth lovely and just keep going you can move you don't have to go as fast as i'm going you can just move at the pace that works for you just feeling comfortable breathing in and out lovely nice just a few more of these we're really working into the hips into the lower back the pelvis lovely nice just a few more nice and deep breath into center breathing in and we're going to go all the way down to one leg once again and just holding here and breathing into center deep breath and exhale down lovely breathing into center and we're going to breathe out down towards the front of your legs so if you can grabbing hold of your toes if you can't just rest your hands wherever that might be on your legs it doesn't matter how far or close and we're going to breathe in to lift up and exhale down breathing in up and exhaling down and just getting a nice gentle rhythm here breathing in and out bit of a strong breath here breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth beautiful nice just a few more of these really loosening into those hips into the lower back then coming up we're going to take a deep breath in and exhale all the way down and just hold here for three breaths lovely nice and you can breathe in to come up and we're going to bring the legs together you might just need to bring them in I'm just going to turn to the side you want to squeeze yourself against your knees just to give yourself a nice little counter pose of that posture nice deep breath in and out lovely we're going to then swing the legs around to come seated on the heels of your feet you want to widen your knees to the edge of your mat so it's in a bit of a v shape in front of you and you're sitting on the heels of your feet with your big toes together if you can't bend your feet over like this and maybe you somewhere like this you can put a pillow under your bum or put a pillow under your feet just to give you a bit of support you want to really feel relaxed and comfortable in this position all right we're going to then take a nice beautiful breath in lifting the arms up over your head stretching as high as you can and you're going to exhale to lower your hands down towards the floor you really want to stretch your fingers forward and we're going to lower the forehead down to the floor keeping the bum as close to the heels of your feet as you can and hold here for five breaths taking deep breaths in and out deep breath in and out another deep breath in and out deep breath in and out another deep breath in and out lovely 
we're going to then take the right arm underneath the left arm so you're sweeping it under to place the side of your face and your shoulder on the floor so we're just deepening a little bit more into the hips just holding here making sure you are in fact relaxed in your hips and then we can swap to the other side then taking the left arm through placing it through the right arm placing the side of your face and shoulders to the floor lovely and you can come back to center we're going to then just just begin to move the body from left to right so just as though you kind of moving from one leg to the other leg just deepening that release into your hips this is really good to just massage into the hips and into the lower back releasing any stiffness or tension there if you find that this is a little bit sore on your knees maybe you have sensitive knees you can also use a towel or a blanket just to fold and put under your knees to give a bit of extra support Okay, we're then going to come all the way over the left leg so you almost want to bring your body down and over the left leg stretching over the left side and dropping down you should feel a nice big stretch here in the lower back and the hips and just taking a few breaths lovely then a nice deep breath we're going to move over to the opposite side now stretching down all the way over the right leg and stretching down on the right taking three breaths beautiful and then coming back to the center we're going to try now lower the chin to the floor so stretching the fingers forward once again and lowering the chin down to the floor if you can if not you can rest the forehead so just see where it works for you and just taking steady breath lovely nice so you can then walk your hands back up once again keeping this posture we're going to then just bring your hands onto your hips and lift ourselves up onto our knees so you're going to come up all the way onto your knees pressing your hips forward taking your head back and just really pushing this pelvic area forward breathing in and out all the way back down nice so we're going to just do a few of these breathing in lifting up pushing the hips forward and exhaling down if you want to tuck the toes and if that feels more comfortable for you you can so breathing in lifting up and exhale back down lovely so we're just going to do a few of these in your own time really pushing those hips forward and exhale down nice Let's do a few more breathing in and out breathing in lifting up and exhaling down breathing in lifting up and down nice and breathing in lifting up exhaling down nice and coming up for your last one you can either just hold yourself in this posture otherwise you can grab hold of your ankles and really push the body forward beautiful and breathing in coming up and you can just gently lower yourself down just relaxing for a minute taking a deep breath in and out another deep breath in and out lovely so we're just going to do a few more exercises for the pelvic area so i want you to come forward and just from your knees, we're going to push ourselves up into our downward dog. 
So in your down dog, you want to be in this beautiful triangle position with your feet to the floor, your shoulders pressing back. And if you want to walk the heels up and down a little bit, you can. Lovely, nice. And we're going to lift up the left leg as high as you can behind you. And you bend whoops, <laughs> the left leg behind you to look under your left armpit. So you're really getting this beautiful hip stretch. Just breathing in here, opening. And breathing out back to center, exhaling down. And we're going to do the same on the other side, lifting up the right leg as high as you can. Bending it over the body, looking under the right arm. And breathing in forward. You're going to keep the right leg up. Bring it forward up into your chest and lowering down to the floor in front of you. So coming into a nice low lunge, you want to make sure your knee is above your ankle. Your hands are nice and flat and you're looking forward. And really relax into the hips here. Just take two breaths. In and out. Beautiful. Nice. We're going to then take the right hand over the inside and walk this right toe out to the edge. And the toe can be slightly at an angle. We're going to lower the left knee down to the floor and bring yourself down. So really allow this knee to open up, just dropping down to the floor. And taking a few steady breaths here. Nice. Then you can breathe in and come back up. Take the right hand back over the foot. Tuck the back toe under, coming back into your low lunge, holding here. Stepping back, we're going to come into a plank, holding the body. You really want to activate the full body here. We can lower ourselves down to the floor. Breathing in, lifting up into a gentle cobra. Just lifting, relaxing the hips. Pushing back onto your knees. We can tuck the toes under. And lift once again into your downward dog. Pressing your heels to the floor, shoulders to the floor. And this time lifting up the left leg behind you as high as you can and stepping it forward in between both feet making sure your knee is above your ankle looking forward relaxing your hips relaxing breathing beautiful then bringing the left arm over turning the left toes out to the side at a little bit of an angle dropping the back knee down we're going to lower ourselves down to the floor, taking a few breaths. Beautiful, nice. Breathing in, coming back up, taking the left arm over. Tucking the left toe, right toes under, looking forward once again. We're going to step back into our plank, holding the body, exhaling down to the floor. Breathing in, lifting up into your cobra, deep, beautiful breath. Exhaling onto, back to your knees, tucking your toes under, and lifting in the downward dog. Two breaths. Lovely. We're going to lift up the right leg again as high as you can and then bring it down onto the floor in front of you. So you just want to make sure there's a bit of a triangular position here. And you can also see how this works for you. Maybe you want to actually sit like this or you, maybe you want to go into a full pigeon pose where you're actually bringing the foot into a triangle uh, square position in front of you. I find this a little as you can see challenging and awkward so just see what works for you I prefer just a comfortable triangle like so so we're going to breathe in and lift up taking a nice breath and just lower yourself down onto this front leg 
crossing your hands over, you can just rest your forehead onto the hands. And take nice, steady breaths. Nice. Then you can breathe in whenever you're ready and come back up. Tucking the back toes under, lifting yourself back into your plank, holding the body nice and strong. Exhaling down to the floor. Breathing in, lifting up. And exhaling, tucking the toes under, downward dog. Two breaths. And we're going to do the same on the left side, lifting up on the left. Exhaling all the way down, finding your comfortable position, taking a deep breath and lifting up. Exhaling down, bringing your forehead onto your hands and just taking a few breaths here. Just relax into it. Breathe in and come up, taking a deep breath and exhale. Beautiful. From here, we're just going to just drop down onto your bum. You can swing your legs around and we're going to bring our knees, our feet up, and just lower yourself down onto your back. You're going to bring your feet as close to the bum as you can, resting down, and if you can, grab hold of your ankles. If not, you can just rest your hands on the floor below your ankles. And we're going to lift ourselves up to really open up those hips. Coming onto your shoulders, lifting up and gently exhaling down. Breathing in, lifting up, really reaching as high as you can. Exhaling down. And just do a few of these in your own time, at your own rhythm. Really opening up that pelvic area, affirming I am creative, I am abundant, I am passionate, I am emotionally balanced, I am sexy, whatever it is you need to work with. Breathing in and out. Lovely, nice. And then for the last one, you can actually widen your feet a little bit more. And we're going to lift ourselves up. And if you can, try to bring your hands underneath. So really, really opening up here. You can open your legs even wider. And just breathing here. Beautiful. Well done. Gently lowering yourself down to the floor. And you can bring your knees into the chest for a nice tight squeeze. And we're going to breathe out and just come into a short Shavasana. So just come to lie on your back, resting your palms up towards the sky, just so we can integrate this beautiful work and transformation. Just relaxing, breathing, absorbing. Bringing your mind into a space of love and peace, creativity, abundance.
taking a nice deep breath in, I invite you to just, just breathe into the second chakra. Maybe you want to visualize this orange, beautiful energy, just breathing in and igniting and firing all your creativity, your passion, your sexuality. And And another deep, beautiful breath. Breathing in all that creative, abundant energy. And it's You can just then move your fingers and toes. Bringing the right knee up into your chest, grabbing hold of your knee. You can gently rotate your ankle. And then just taking the knee over your body onto the floor on the left side, taking your right arm out and looking over to the right side. Gently back to center, lowering the right leg, lifting the left leg, nice deep stretch, rotate the ankles. And then taking the knee over the body onto the right and stretching over. Nice deep breath and exhale. Gently back to center. And you can just begin to roll the body forwards and backwards. And then bring yourself back up seated. Nice. Just closing the eyes for a moment longer, just maintaining this beautiful state of bliss love and abundance, creativity, infinite potential. I'm going to take a deep breath in, bringing the arms around, breathing in your highest, purest intentions. Exhaling down to your heart and we'll close our practice with the mantra Sat Nam, meaning I am true. Taking a deep breath in, Sat Nam. Namaste and thank you so much for joining the practice Day. I really hope you enjoyed it. There's going to be a few more videos of just shorter things you can do maybe before you start your day or end your day. Um, it's just like a quick little fire up of your second chakra. Like maybe if you have a meeting or if you know you need to get a creative project done that day or if you've gone through something quite emotional and you just need to release a bit of energy. So just short little tools and tricks to just activate and balance that area. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, please get in touch. Um, and I look forward to seeing you again on the next video. Namaste.